welcome back to another low content video today we are going to be working on the wolf journal that was started a few videos ago we're going to turn it into a prompt journal it's similar to what we did with the affinity publisher notebook um, it's just a slightly different way of, of doing it that you have to do in publisher so first things first we are going to prepare this document for the merge procedure to do that we're going to delete pages like we did in the affinity file when you merge it will repeat the prompts onto the pages and then it copies the pages if you didn't delete these pages and just merge you'll have a, like a 15,000 page book which is expensive to print um, so the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to copy that but then we are going to delete this page again if we don't delete this page it will just repeat and then the final thing we're going to do to this document is go to the master page and I'm going to delete these page numbers because we don't uh, need them they just make things a bit more complicated so in the affinity publisher print merge we uh, we put the prompts into the master file you don't do that in publisher you do it directly onto the onto the pages you're working on so I want to um, have a prompt on the blank page and leave the wolf um, by itself but to do that I'm gonna have to put the prompt up here um, that'll be explained shortly but to start the mail merge off we'll go to mailings mail merge step-by-step -step wizard and now we're going to connect to the recipient list now the recipient list is just a in this case an excel file prompts under the heading prompt that's it's as simple as that just save it and remember where you save it because you do have to you have to find it again um but that's it there's nothing fancy about it it's just a list of uh, data so I'm going to um, connect to a new recipient now I'll save this in downloads you could have anything in that list of prompts by the way if you're trying to do as I mentioned before you know um, a, a joke writing guide or a, you know, something to help with writer's block you could have little writing prompts up there um, this is more of like a, a mindfulness sort of thing so this is the file it was prompts test xlsx um, and these are all list of prompts if you want to disclude any or remove them from the option just take the tick box but I want them all in And I want, so I'm putting this on the wrong page. I don't want, want the prompts on this page, but um, it'll work out in the end. Remember to make your text box as big as your prompts will be. Ours meant quite big. Um, better, better to be too big than too small. And then, again, we can mess about with fonts and, um, you know, uh, size and things like that. The next thing to do is to create the merge publication and on this option we want to merge to a new publication so it won't destroy this file it'll create a new publication with the prompt and the merge all sorted and there we go that's the prompt that's the font I chose um, it's still on the wrong page but that's fine the reason we took the page numbers off is because this would be one two one two or each page would be one and two all the way down and that's not what we want we are missing the title page so we'll insert a page before and we just want one there we go it pushes everything it pushes everything on one 
as you can see this prompt is a little bit to the right and the, they all are that's something you would sort out in the uh, in this one here I could pull that slightly further to the left um, to line up a bit better and then just re-merge I'm not going to do that now because this is you know it's good enough for demonstration purposes uh, and that's it so ignore this one two one two one two that's just the pages that have been repeated over and over again you can still export it as you would normally you can also still go to the um to the master page and you could add add stuff in here um you know it's not uh it, it's still technically the same i'll just have a quick i'll just insert a shape I'll have a square so let's square that off again you don't want it to be blue but it's fine I'll uh, so see there's a chance that that's going to block my uh, my quotes off but we'll find out so there you go so you can still mess about with the master page um, if you want to put other images around the wolves also you could make these quotes all about wolves if you can find 50 wolf quotes just to tie it all in a bit better um, and then we I'll just get rid of that box because it doesn't look good and then when we export you see it will export as a full um, document remember to go to options print options and change the size of the paper to publication page if you don't you'll end up with a six by nine journal page on an A4 sized piece of paper which isn't what you want and then publish so yeah instead of just having those sort of mindfulness prompts you could have anything in that Excel spreadsheet um, writing prompts you could have uh, joke setups where you encourage people to, to try and guess the end of a joke or even write a new one um, or a one that I'm working on at the minute is a would you rather sort of book where instead of prompts you've got the would you rather scenario and then two two pages for for people to argue it out if you're playing by yourself just yeah you, you know try and argue justify your decision on whether you would rather fart out your mouth or sing out your bum so this is it that's the title page uh prompt lines lines with a wolf it's simple and it's just another thing to do it's all about you know differentiating from everyone else out there but making it easy for yourself if you didn't have mail merging you had to type each prompt in individually on the, on the page you wanted it would you know you'd get bored quickly especially if you wanted to make see it 20 different prompt journals in a day you know it wouldn't be uh, you'd soon grow sick another thing you can do so because this is a separate document it's a new document I'll just shut it down I don't want to save it but you can um, you can change the position of this you could if you wanted to I'll go to the master page mess about on here you could change the wolf pick you could let's see what so so for your prompt you could you could pull that down you know mess about with the line size have your prompt up here in a in a blank space add more imagery to it mess about with transparencies there's a lot you can do to just customize things and don't forget the power of that title page you can put anything on there um anything that, that serves the purpose and serves the the niche of the notepad that is everything for today. 
you know, you've, you've now learned how to make a line journal to make that journal a more niched down product by adding um, by messing with master pages and adding images uh, using transparency to make the journal still effective as a, as a lined notebook and then finally we've turned it into a prompt journal we've also made a cover um, so we have following these steps you've made a cover for free if you've got publisher you can make a prompt journal for free and it's something unique it's not going to be something that people have just downloaded from Creative Fabric or Tangent or Bookbolt. I use all of those sites, but you know, if you can make it yourself, you know, it's better. Um, the, the the sites do have a lot of good tools, and Creative Fabric has a lot of uh, images, which are very, they've got a very good um, license of use on them. Obviously, read the read the license, but um, yeah, they're quite it's quite a generous license. So that is everything I want to show you in today's video. Thanks for watching. Please do like, comment and subscribe. Uh, I'm going to do a lot more videos. You know, I'll, I'll share with you income reports, more income reports, more of my books that I've made and how to do little things like this. As I've said previously, I'm not a designer. I just mess about with the software and sometimes it is useful. You know, I've made a lot of mistakes. Um, but this is something that's simple and useful, so hopefully you will you will find a use from it and benefit from watching. And that's enough from me. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.